Watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, if you want to win a scale replica model of Captain America's shield, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the Marvelous Wave, and leave a comment below telling us who your favorite Marvel villain is. Then head over to Twitter and tweet us at StupendousWave with hashtag the Marvelous Wave. The winner will be announced on March 19th. It is hard to disagree that Agnes or Agatha was a surprise star in WandaVision as portrayed by Katherine Hahn. In a recent interview with the head writer and showrunner of WandaVision, Jack Schaefer, she talked a little about Agatha's original role, a little about some of the backstory that we missed, and some possible future appearances. This is great news for this fan favorite character, as it is now a new, interesting, and iconic portrayal of Agatha in the MCU. For most of us who read the comics, Agatha is very different in WandaVision. She is neither an old woman, nor does she necessarily teach Wanda. Previously, she was always an ally and mentor to Wanda, and that was almost the case in WandaVision. About this, Schaefer said, In the early stages, she functioned more as a mentor, and then as we got into the room and started really legitimately breaking the episodes, it became clear that having more of a proper antagonist would serve the structure really well. This reveals that for one thing, Wanda was going to originally face off only against her grief, and she wasn't going to be facing it alone as Agatha would eventually help her. While this didn't happen, you can see some of the footprints of this idea. For a good amount of time during WandaVision, Agatha, as Agnes, is always there to offer help and is actually quite helpful. Some of this could have been left from the original story as Agatha may have entered Westview to help Wanda, got stuck in the charade, or due to her knowledge of Wanda's powers, subtly tried to help her or get close to her so she could help her get over her grief. To some extent, the story might not have changed too much. With Agatha eventually revealing herself, her teaching Wanda a little bit of magic, and may have even still ended up fighting, as Wanda may have been reluctant to give up her family so easily. And if she was under Wanda's control, it could have been that she entered the town sensing Wanda's powers and as soon as she entered didn't realize just how powerful Wanda really was. But she was still just powerful enough to not be completely under Wanda's control, to subtly and carefully offer Wanda help under Wanda's control. Although having Agatha as a mentor would have been an interesting route, it also would have been very predictable. And we know how the MCU loves to take things from the comics, but change them up entirely. And on top of that, she probably wouldn't have been as iconic, being a simple guide and friend that faded into the background in the future. The way that Agatha was end up portrayed as a character was both interesting and new, as well as a little bit surprising to the fans of the comics. With the character being changed just enough and Catherine Hahn's outstanding performance, we hope to see more of her character in the future, and we just might get that. On top of this, we only got a sliver of Agatha's origins. In the interview, Jack Schaefer mentions that they had a lot more on Agatha's story, but it had to be cut before the final product was released. So although we may never see these scenes, or they may show up in one of the Disney Plus documentaries on the making of the show, we likely will never see them as part of Agatha's actual story. But just what were some of these other origin stories that we could have seen in WandaVision? One of the first things would have been Agatha sensing the afterglow of Wanda's magic. A lot of this was to strengthen the idea that Agatha was kind of like a magic vampire, and that her whole journey and whole life's goal was to steal magic to strengthen herself. And since Wanda was the most powerful magic user, it would have shown her sensing the magic and heading to Westview. And it also would have kind of set up the plot point that Agatha knew that there was another witch at or above her level. And we would have also been able to see Agatha's life between where we see her in Salem and when we see her in Westview. We would have gotten to see a little bit of her story over the three centuries that she lived, as well as other magic users that she faced and stole power from over the years. While we could have gotten some cool easter eggs here and even some possible run-ins with sorcerers that are in league with Doctor Strange, I could see why this was cut as it doesn't really add to Wanda's story as well as Agatha's story being fairly cut and dry. But like I said, this probably won't be the last we see of her, especially because the last we see of her in WandaVision, Wanda says she knows where she is if she needs answers from her in the future. Although it doesn't sound like there are any plans to bring her back yet, the door is open, especially because she has knowledge of the Darkhold that Wanda does not. She very well could return as a mentor, being controlled by Wanda, but also giving Wanda what she wants to know. She may appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and it may turn out that Doctor Strange knows about her and has actually been looking for her over the years as well, especially because of her involvement with the Darkhold. I think it would be great to see Agatha return, and I think it is very likely. 
I think that if she is not willing to help, she will be forced by Wanda to help her get her children back, as well as deal with any problems that the Darkhold may bring up. And is it possible that she won't show up for a while and possibly even escapes her imprisonment in Westview by Wanda's hand? At this point, only time will tell. I for one think that because Agatha was such an important role in Wanda's life in the comics, she will appear to be an important role, although in a different aspect in the MCU. What did you think of Agatha in WandaVision, and would you like to see her again? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and then like this video and subscribe to The Marvelous Wave to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.